When we last left you, we were leaving this gem of an anchorage, but this ended up being a huge mistake. What started out as a dream sail quickly turned into a nightmare, where rookie sailors and only experience could have prepared us for what happened next. Okay, so we need to get this out, okay? Which one am I saying? Which side? That side, it's already pulling to come out. Pull? You're gonna need to uh, get away. Lots of gas, eh? Yeah, we put we filled up the tank. Like not that long ago, we definitely haven't used that much. Okay, turn it off. Try and start it again. No. Anything? No. Turn it all the way off. Try and start it. Okay. That's better. And then die. Yeah. Okay. We uh we need to uh maybe try putting fuel in here yeah. as the first thing. Yeah. When we fueled up in where? Wrangle. In Wrangle. Yeah, remember it was expensive. We filled up. <laughs> okay, let's just try putting some fuel into it, okay? You wanna get the fuel key? Yeah. So we don't know what's caused both engines to fail. So the first thing we're gonna try is putting more fuel out of the jerry cans into the fuel tank, even though it definitely shouldn't be fuel because we filled up in Wrangle. We completely filled up the tanks and we haven't motored that much since then, but we're going to try that as the first thing because both engines died one after the other. So that's something that could affect both. What else, we, what else can we think of? Fuel filter. Fuel filter. Would that affect both engines though? That engine shut down because of a, what, a rope. Go. That's sounding good at least. So maybe it was fuel. No, and it's just died. It's died. Okay. We uh we need to get uh I think we need to get a little bit more sail out because the wind is dying. Yeah. sails out we had more control of the boat but we had another problem 
it was starting to get dark. Haven't sorted it out yet. I think you can see me. Still trying to figure it out. We've put fuel in, so I think Darcy's bleeding the fuel system now to see if that's the cause. Thankfully, the wind has died down a little bit, so no longer gusting up to 40. It's not even draining. Damn, and this was the good one. No, it must be clogged. Is that draining? Yeah. There's a bunch of gunk in there. That's definitely not fuel. That's just gunk. How's it getting to the fuel? I don't know. But we can get it out. Okay. Um, we can switch it out for the other one on the other side because I can't get this loose. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I tried with everything. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh, that looks big time gunky too. Look at this. Oh, okay, hopefully, hopefully that's the problem. Darcy put a new fuel filter in, but the engine kept on dying. Next, he tried to suck in fuel from the line. Okay, so we can, we can run straight from, um, we can run a fuel tank, um, straight into that, straight into here, uh, a jerry can. Okay. So this fuel line is blocked, no fuel is coming through it. We tried to suck it out and it's just, it's not working. So now we've got an extra piece of fuel line and we've run it up to uh, a diesel can here. And so uh, we're gonna attempt to get the, uh, the motor running off of that. Um, these diesel engines have a uh, return uh, to the fuel tank. And so what that means is fuel that's not used is returned to the fuel tank. So you have a very limited range when you're running off of a jerry can. Okay. Um, and so you have to keep that into consideration. So we're gonna try and uh, see if we can get it going and if we can get it going, we're gonna tack back uh, to our original anchorage and uh, shut off the engine once we know what's reliable. And then um, uh, once we've tacked back, uh, we're gonna hopefully sail almost right into our original anchorage and then uh, uh, turn on the engine uh, before the point of no return and make sure it's, it's running well and then have some uh, diesel cans lined up here uh, in case we need to swap them out for, for other ones. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can make it work. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go forward and cut the jib sheet that's wrapped around the prop. And at the same time, right after I do that, I'm gonna furl it up. Uh, and Yvette is going to uh, uh, do the furling line, uh, re release the jib sheet line from the cockpit. After we do that, um, we're gonna tack and we're gonna sail only on the main. 
and we're gonna hopefully head back to our proper anchorage. We have the engine running now, um, but we have a limited amount of fuel in the jerry cans. I don't know how two things go wrong at the exact same time, but it seems like the prop got stuck with a line, which is super embarrassing because we've done that only recently. If we can hold this, we're looking real good. Yeah. So that was the starboard engine, and we've cut that line now so that we could roll the jib up to tack, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to tack. And the port engine seems to have at the exact same time, not being able to get any fuel to it from the tank. And when we've now hooked it up to a jerry can, it's working. But we only have so much fuel in a jerry can that we can the use. The only thing is we're going slow, so it's gonna take like two hours. Yeah. Oh, at least, at least we got the engine okay. working. So that was an absolute crap show. <laughs> uh, we saw winds gusting at over 45 knots. Uh, at the worst possible time, the port engine died, and there's a fuel, some kind of fuel problem with it. Uh, we're not sure what it is yet, and then uh, we're not sure what happened, but uh, we tried to increase the throttle on the starboard engine a little bit, because we were going straight into these heavy, heavy winds, and the jib sheet got wrapped on the starboard prop. Which we thought couldn't happen, because after last time that happened, we put an extra block in so that it couldn't fall down that far, but clearly it still can somehow. <laughs> yeah. And so we uh, immediately uh, pulled out, we had to pull out just a little tiny bit of the jib sheet, which we barely could um, with the, the the line wrapped. Lucky it wasn't the, the jib sheet that was wrapped, wasn't the jib sheet we needed to, to use, but we could only still pull it a little bit. Of the jib. Uh, yeah, of the mm -hmm. jib. We got a little bit of the main out as well. Um, it's the highest wind speed we've ever had sails out in uh, and then we yeah got some steerage of the boat and tried to figure out what was the problem we still haven't figured it out we ended up getting the port engine going by putting a jerry can uh, essentially uh, plumbing a jerry can right into the fuel line of the port engine but we can't get fuel out of either fuel line right now for port or starboard but it's like one o'clock at night mm. we're both exhausted we're at the anchorage now yeah Portage. Portage Bay. Portage Bay. We're about 25 miles away from Petersburg, a city, just in case we need parts. And we'll do a, a full 
brief tomorrow when we figure out if we can make it there or not, if we need help. Mm -hmm. But we didn't call it Mayday. We didn't call it Pan Pan. We dealt with it ourselves. I'm super proud of us. We would have if we needed to. We had yeah. our radio and everything ready. Yeah. We, we had a conversation about it, but we had everything under control. So, yeah. And we had the yeah sails up and were had plenty of room to go away from the land until we got closer and then tacked and go back. So we could keep doing that until we figured it out or needed help. So, Oh, well, it is what it is. Yeah. We're safe. We're somewhat happy. We're exhausted. And we're going to bed. Yeah, we'll figure out more tomorrow, hopefully. Night night. Good night. I'm jumping in to get the line out of the prop. We had to cut it last night while we were sailing so that we could wrap up the jib. But some of the line's still in the prop. It's freezing and rainy and cold. And I don't want to, but Darcy did it last time, so it's my turn this time. And never gonna be a third time because we're never gonna hopefully let a line in the prop ever again. Even though we did try to fix this, so I don't know how it still happened, but Here's what it is. Yeah. Better you than me. <laughs> just, just so everyone knows, I did volunteer to do this, <laughs> but she insisted. I'm gonna make it equal between us <laughs> sometimes when I can do stuff anyway. I don't know the engine as much, so. Oh, I have major regrets though. <laughs> <laughs> This should make it warmer, but it's definitely still not warm. <laughs> How is it? Nice and toasty. <laughs> <laughs> if I think about warm things, it'll be warm, right? That's exactly it. <laughs> How is it? Pretty wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> think you can get it? I haven't got it. But you think you can get it? Yeah. Okay. Don't go backwards. There's rope stuck on it. Seaweed behind you. Hey? There's seaweed behind you. Go this way. What? <laughs> There's a bunch of seaweed behind you. Okay, report in. I got most of it, but there's a one ring of rope stuck around the prop shaft. Looks like it's kind of melted onto it into a ring. I can't get it off because it's a, a perfectly formed ring. Is the um, rope all free? Yeah. Okay, and there's how long is the tail to that? The ring. No tail? There's no tail, it's just like a perfectly round ring. It's melted on itself, doesn't have a tail. Kay. I don't know how that happens. But I got the rest of the rope off, but. Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave that. Never ever letting line get over the edge of the boat again. We're gonna put like five different blocks, <laughs> have a full time watch person. <laughs> <laughs> if you make a mistake, what's, isn't there a saying? Once? Yeah, you can make a mistake once, but you can't make a mistake a second time. No. Fool me once. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> Definitely shame on us. <laughs> All right, we have our jib sheet tied together because we had to cut it last night because it got wrapped around the prop. Uh, the engine still wouldn't have worked anyway, even if this wasn't wrapped around the prop because we have a fuel delivery issue. We have both engines plumbed up to jerry cans. We have a limited amount we can run. Uh, the starboard engine we're only gonna use to get out of here and get into Petersburg where we're going. The port engine we can run for maybe about three hours. So we have to sail the first bit of it upwind and then we can turn on the engines when we get closer. So we're ready to go. You're ready to go. Let's yeah. go. All right. Let's do this. And How we, do you we, feel? Do you feel confident? I feel a mix of nervous and confident because we've got a good plan and we've figured out and we've at least fixed the issue or be, put a band aid on the issue by plumbing the jerry cans to each. We don't know why 
the fuel isn't getting from the main tank to the motors. I always thought catamarans were awesome because you always have a backup motor, but I guess not in this case, not when the fuel isn't getting to either. So, it's all right, we'll get to Petersburg. We've called ahead and they've got a nice dock space ready for us. And then we'll go from there. Are you warmed up yet? Yes, I'm nice and toasty. <laughs> Although my hair's still a bit wet, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get that fishing rod out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no, are you okay? Yep. <laughs> oh. That's the worst. <laughs> I've got bruises all over my body, so <laughs> no. just another one. Here, I, I'll get the fishing rod there. Huh? Oh no. Floating careless, nothing matters Holding on and on, holding on with you in my mind Can you see it? So clearly our mic can't record audio in 35 knot winds So I'll just let you know that we're doing well and sailing upwind with our sails heavily reefed Now there's a place that I belong to Holding on and on, holding on with you what just happened? Oh, just one more thing going wrong. <laughs> I was filming with the new camera we had just for this trip. It was expensive and what we're making all the videos with. Um, and I walked behind here and a big wave came. The strap just released off my hand. And it was like in slow motion the camera just dropped down onto the swim deck and just bounced into the water and sank. So all our footage for the last little few days and our new good camera that we've been using for everything. But you're okay, right? Yeah, and I know that's what matters, but I just feel so stupid. It's okay. Mistakes happen. The strap <laughs> broke. We're almost at the point where we can turn on the motor, right? Okay, houses and if we had a different camera we could maybe see it a little bit better in the dark 
<laughs> That's this is, okay. This is all you're getting now. <laughs> Less than uh, a mile away from the dock. Yeah. And you know, one, one more difficult thing and then relief. After pretty much two full days or 48 hours of mayhem. Absolute mayhem nonstop. <laughs> I see boats. I see city. I see beauty. Oh, this is what I needed. Yeah, I can think of one more thing we need. <laughs> <laughs> to get the fuel line figured out. Oh yeah, <laughs> and a new camera. Uh, oh right, oh no I forgot. No, I actually meant this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beers, yeah. This, this will cure everything, all our pain. So in case you are, haven't figured it out yet, we made it to Petersburg, we made it to the dock. Um, there's quite a lot of current, it, docking was a little bit difficult but not that bad. Uh, just had the one engine and it worked out. We're here, we're tied up, and now we can kind of figure out what's wrong with the boat. Hopefully. No, we will have to figure out what's wrong with the boat. <laughs> Otherwise, we live in Petersburg now. <laughs> yeah. Come visit us. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, as lovely as Petersburg is, which we haven't seen any of it, just the dock, which is amazing, <laughs> uh, we, we want to get into Mexico. Um, so we're going to be heading out from Alaska. We're going to try and fix this as quickly as possible, but properly. And then head back to Vancouver, get ready, and, and head down to Mexico. But right now, it's pizza time. Pizza and drinks. Pizza and drinks. We deserve this. <laughs> yeah, crazy last 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. <laughs> We've had a rough couple of days. <laughs> To top it all off, we lost our best camera. It was the only camera we bought brand new, and we used that camera for everything. We used it for our wildlife shots, landscape shots, and most of the low light shots that we would take. And the reason we bought that camera is because we wanted to have the best possible quality video uh, to show you guys every week. Yeah, I've really, really loved capturing all the beautiful moments with that camera. And I know it's super early days, but if there are any huge Sailing Supernova fans already um, who want to help us replace the camera, then we are going to leave a link in the description below for our PayPal. And any donations or money will go straight to a replacement fund for the camera. Yeah, and no matter what guys, we're always going to have the best possible video we can yeah. for you every Friday. And just, just know that. And so, yeah, I guess have a great week. Yeah, see you next Friday. See ya. Thank you.